Today we're going to make these Betty Crocker salted caramel cookies. They're a limited edition cookie. We got them at Kroger. Don't know how much they were, but they were at Kroger. Um, calories prepared as made is three tablespoons of mix or about two cookies is 160 calories that's prepared. So that's not, that's not too bad actually. Um, you need one stick of butter softened or margarine and I've got my I got my margarine and it's been sitting out for a little while and I've got my one egg that you also need and you preheat your oven to 375 or 350 for darker coated pans and basically you just mix it up and drop it on drop it on the sheet so I'm gonna I'm gonna use a mixer does it have a description it literally doesn't say anything beyond salt or caramel so nope I want to make sure there wasn't any description on there or anything. Actually, it's got a hunks of calm on it. So that's good. That's really good. Well, I'll throw my egg in there. I need a waste bowl. It says artificially flavored salted caramel bits. Yeah. So that's what those are. I have a pouch. Oh, I'm sorry. Took your... I want to throw my garbage in there. <laughs> I was reading the uh, ingredients. Yeah. You don't get any box top on there. I don't know if this is the brand. Is this the brand that has the box tops? I have no idea. I can't keep track of which brand... Uh, as it and which does it. Yeah. There's garbage. Oh, there. Okay. Yeah. That's a good place for your garbage, huh? Yeah, that's what I think. Okay, I'm gonna turn this on low, just kinda get it started. And after the dough gets a little uh, moist, then I'll turn it up a little bit. And you mix it on medium um, until a soft dough forms. So you turn it up one more knot, and just to get all that butter incorporated in there. It smells good. Mm -hmm. I think that's dough. Definitely forming a ball. I think it's safe to say that's probably ready. Uh, let me get a spoon. Just enough to knock it off. What I'll probably do is knock it off here and then um, just mix it again for just another couple of seconds just to make sure no butter is stuck on this beater. I don't see any. I don't either. But... Yeah, it smells... Um, it smells like um, like a maple syrup. Mm -hmm. It does smell mapley. No, I think it's okay. Let me scrape all this down. Waste no cookie. Okay. All right, now I've got my cookie scoop. Oven's heated. Um, I've got my cookie scoop, which you, I think we've showed you in the past if you watched some of our other videos. And I'm just gonna literally scoop these out on a pan and I'll show you right here. Um, I put these sheets of parchment paper. We bought these actually. The sheets are pre-cut, pre-folded. And all you literally do is unfold them and put them on your pan. So they're pretty cool. I bet these will spread a little bit. Yeah, I'm not putting them super close. It says to put them um, two inches apart. You covered up your instructions. <laughs> it's two inches apart. Like them over here. Inches. I gotta scoot that over a little bit too. They might run together a little bit. That's okay. 
They look like cafeteria mashed potatoes. <laughs> they do kind of, kind of have that look. Don't they? Yeah. Well, they do use a scoop to get those out. Yeah. So how long do they stay in the oven? Um, I covered up that part of it. Seven to nine minutes. Seven minutes. So we'll probably do them about eight minutes? Yeah. Yeah, we can check on them in eight minutes. Okay. Well, I'll come back when they're out of the oven. Okay. Yeah, I've pretty much put them all on there. Had a little extra. <laughs> I can tell that myself. Is it good? That is extra cookie dough. What does it taste like? Um, it doesn't taste very caramel. It, it almost um, it almost has a maple flavor. Seriously, um, I guess it tastes like caramel. That's good. Okay. Here are the cookies, and Kevin and Ashley are going to try one, and they're still warm. A little bit. Mm, they're chewy. They're chewy. Mm -hmm. They're really good. I don't get salty caramel. It's maple. It does kind of, it actually just tastes like more of an upscale sugar cookie to me. To me, it tastes like a pancake that you put maple syrup on. A little bit. Really light maple syrup. It does kind of taste like a pancake. Mm hmm. I don't get that. What do you get, Ashley? I get the syrupy flavor, but not the pancake flavor. The texture, though, is spot on. The texture is perfect. That's a good cookie. I like them. Mm -hmm. oh, I you do like them. them. I like the texture. I like the flavor, actually. I don't know if they taste like salted caramel. They do. But, but they are really good. And they don't need icing or anything like that. So. Mm -hmm. I just I just did get actually salt. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm getting bites of salt now. Have you gotten any? Mm -hmm. I just got a few bites of salt. But, but you good. both like them. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. If you want a different cookie, try one of these out. They're really good.